Here is how you can get one of the best weapons in Shadow of the Erd Tree and become this dragon or this dragon whenever you want. Okay, step one, head to the castle front site of grace. Follow the path southeast until you reach the pillar path waypoint site of grace. From here, you'll hear a lot of grunting and complaining from an NPC. Just head southwest until you see Egon lying on the ground. Chat with him and exhaust his dialogue. Once you finish your conversation with Egon, follow the path southwest until you're invaded by the ancient dragon man. Now you've just got to beat him up. Once you've done this, continue down the path to the south until you reach the Dragon's Pit Dungeon. Step two, once you're in the cave, you'll notice there is a very obvious path lighting the way with candles and fire. So just stick to the path and follow the fires as you go. You can follow my exact path here if you're stuck. Just remember to keep an eye on the compass if you get turned around while trying to follow me. Once you get to the end of this cave, you'll see a giant altar and in front of it is a very deep, dark pit. You won't be able to see the bottom of this pit, so naturally you're going to jump in. Step three. Okay, boss fight time. You'll be fighting the dragon man again. It's a pretty easy fight. Feel free to use exactly what I did here.
When you beat the Dragon Man, you'll get his strength and deck scaling Great Katana. This does extra damage to dragons and has an insanely powerful Ash of War. So now you've beat Dragon Man, just head south of the boss room, open the door and follow the cave along to the next site of grace. Then from here, follow my path out of the cave, heading southeast until you reach a message from Egon. After reading it, you'll notice there's a dragon sleeping directly below you. It could be worth quickly heading to the round table hold here to upgrade your new dragon katana if you wanted to test it on this dragon. But either way, head down from the cliff and beat the sleeping dragon. This one is not too difficult. Step four, follow the path to the south and you'll eventually reach the Grand Altar of Dragon Communion. Touch the Sight of Grace and talk to the Dragon Priestess next to the altar. She'll give you a quest, just exhaust her dialogue until she gives you the Ancient Dragon's Blessing. Now head back to the Dragon's Pit Terminus Sight of Grace and then follow the Northeastern Path. You'll eventually reach the Spirit Spring, hop up, head over to the Wooden Bridge and grab the Sight of Grace on the other side. Now just follow the path to the southeast until you find two dragons fighting each other. Yes, you do have to beat them both. Just target the one with the most health and keep taking shots at it and let the other dragon regain the aggro before going back in for another hit. By the time you've beaten one dragon, the other will be on its last legs, so just beat it up. After defeating both the dragons, you'll hear Egon having a little chuckle to himself and telling you how great you are. He's laying on the ground to the southeast, so just head over and chat with him. He'll give you his furled finger and will offer to help you with a boss later on. So as always, just exhaust his dialogue. Step five. After talking to Egon, just follow the path to the east and jump in the spirit spring. This leads to another spirit spring. After that second jump, follow this path southeast. You'll eventually have to pass two boulders that roll towards you. Just move to the right and wait for them to pass. After that, head northeast and you'll come up to your next big challenge. Fighting this dragon can be tricky, but there is a statue of Marika nearby, so if you lose, at least you won't have to run all the way back here. After beating the Ancient Dragon, you'll be rewarded with an Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone and a somber Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. 
Now just head northeast up the hill until you get to the Jagged Peak mountainside site of grace. Now head southwest along this path. Eventually you'll come to a spirit spring. And after you jump up, you'll have to follow the path to the left to stay above the red lightning. But if you quickly drop down and go right, you'll be able to get yourself the first of three items that give you the ability to turn into a dragon. This item is the rock heart. From here, just go back to the spirit spring, but this time follow the path to the left. Continue along and you'll eventually reach another spirit spring. Follow the path I take to the northeast. Grab the other ancient dragon smithing stone here and then follow my path all the way up to the next site of grace. Step six, you'll now have to beat Bale the Dread, who may be one of the toughest dragon bosses you'll fight in Elden Ring. So you can summon in Egon for help. Once you get into the boss room, his sign will appear near the entrance. Or if you want to be a little cheesy, you can take down Bale without taking any damage. I'll pin that video in the comments and have it at the end of this video, just in case you want to do it that way. After defeating Bale, head back to the last spot Egon was in. You'll get his armor set, his bell bearing, and a bow. If you use his bell bearing at the round table hold, you'll get bolts that do extra damage to dragons. Now head back to the grand altar of the dragon communion, and there will be items where the priestess was stood. You'll get her hammer and the second item that gives you the ability to turn into a dragon, which is the priestess heart. Side note here, you can only become a dragon when you're not wearing any armor, and you also can't do it while stood at the dragon communion for some reason. And that is the whole quest. So thanks for watching and subscribe for more.